With all this talk of IP addresses, you might be wondering, how does your computer get an IP address? In certain cases, some computers, particularly servers and desktops, are configured so that they always use the same IP address. This is particularly appropriate for computers that don't move around, that are always connected to the same network that's managed by the same autonomous system and has the same batch of IP addresses to hand out. But your laptop, on the other hand, and your phone, they move from place to place. So they spend part of their day connected to one network and they might spend some other part of their day connected to a different network. And so over time, your IP address will change. And it's also in certain cases important for network operators to be able to allocate IP addresses dynamically. So for example, on campus, there's lots of different computers that can connect to the Wi-Fi network, but if the computer is not connected, it doesn't necessarily need an IP address. Because in certain cases, IP addresses can be scarce. We want a way to be able to give them out only when needed. So the way that this is done is using something called the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, or DHCP. And if you've configured a computer, you might have had to deal with DHCP. So what is DHCP? DHCP is a protocol by which your computer can request an IP address from the network when it's, when it, in, during the process of connection. So for example, my laptop right here, when it connected to the Wi-Fi network in this room, asked the router, it said, you know, uh, can I have an IP address? And the router has a range of IP addresses that are reserved for this purpose, and it returned one. So let me show you, uh, this is a Mac, and I'll show you a little bit about sort of uh, the configuration that results here. Um, if I go into my, uh, oops, if I go into my network settings here, and I'm connected, so right now I'm connected to this network that's called Blue Hawk, that's in my, my lab. Um, and if I go to the advanced tab, up here in the TCP IP section. So this indicates how IPv4 was configured on this particular machine, and it indicates that it was configured using DHCP. So this is the IP address that I've been assigned, 192.168.1.13. You'll notice that that's a private IP address. I'm behind uh, this machine. The machine I'm attached to, the router I'm attached to, is performing network address translation for me to allow me to access the internet. Um, the router's IP address is right here, 192.168. Dot one dot one. Um, and so this is what happened. When I connected to this network, I asked the router, I said, can I have an IP address? And the router said, okay, uh, your IP address is 192.168.1.13. If I disconnected this machine, so let's try connecting to uh, UB Secure. Get out of here. Um, so I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna connect to UB Secure. I don't know why this, uh, okay, so it's in the process of connecting. Okay, so now it has an IP address. Um, and you can see that I, my IP address is 8.35.167.165. If I do the same thing, I go into my advanced tab and look at TCP IP, I can see again this was configured using DHCP. Now my computer has a different IP address. So my IP address is now 8.35.167.165. Um, this is the IP address that was handed out to me by the UB Secure Router. And so this is something that happens as you move from network to network. If you go home, if I took this computer home and connected to my home Wi-Fi network, I might have a different IP address. When I come to school, I have a different IP address. And so the protocol that allows you to move fluidly between networks and not have to remember which IP address you've been assigned is this thing called DHCP. Again, DHCP also allows the network to reuse banks of IP addresses. So UB Secure probably has a range of IP addresses that it assigns to clients. When I connect, I get one. If I disconnect from the network or I'm inactive for a long time, the network is allowed to take that IP address back and assign it to somebody else. Now, because when you use DHCP, your IP address is changing on a regular basis, this also makes DHCP you know, difficult to use if you want to run a server, because servers need to have an IP address that's stable so that clients can find them. So typically, DHCP is used to connect clients to a network, whereas servers like the server that we use for the class website, like servers that I use in my lab that we need to access from off campus, those have stable fixed IP addresses that we allocate by talking to somebody in the department. So DHCP, pretty important part of how your computer receives IP addresses as you move from place to place. With all this talk of IP addresses, you may be wondering, why didn't Greg plug in? I'm wondering.